Do you know how to multiply two binomials? That's what we're learning in today's lesson. In multiplying two binomials, we can do distributive property or we can use the acronym FOIL method to make it easier in remembering the steps. Here are the five examples. Give it a try and play the video whenever you're ready for the solutions. Example number one. Multiply 2k plus 7 and k minus 5. We will use distributive property in finding the product of these two binomials. First, we will multiply the first terms 2k and k. Plus, step 2, we will multiply the outside terms, and that is 2k times negative 5. Now we will distribute the 7. And that is multiplying 7 and k, or we call this the inside terms. So plus 7 times k. Plus, we will also distribute 7 with the negative 5. So that is 7 times negative 5. Again, step 1, we multiply the first terms 2k and k. Step 2, we multiply the outside terms 2k and negative 5. Step 3, we multiply the inside terms 7 and k. And step 4, we multiply the last term 7 and negative 5. 2k times k is 2k squared because we need to add the powers 1 and 1. And now multiplying 2 and negative 5, that's negative 10. And we have the variable k. Next, 7 times 1k is 7k. And 7 times negative 5, we have negative 35. Simplifying this further, we can combine like terms, negative 10k plus 7k. And that is, of course, negative 3k. So the final answer is 2k squared minus 3k minus 35. Question number 2. Multiply 6x plus y and 5x plus 6y. Step 1, we will multiply 6x and 5x. Next, we will multiply 6x and 6y. Now we're distributing the y. We have y times 5x. And then we have y times 6y. Again, step 1 is to multiply the first terms. 6x and 5x. Step 2, multiplying the outside terms 6x and 6y. Step 3, multiplying the inside terms y and 5x. And step 4, multiplying the last terms y and 6y. Simplifying this, 6 times 5 is 30 x times x is x squared because we need to add the powers 1 and 1. Second term, 6 times 6 is 36. We have the variables x, y plus y times 5x is just 5yx. We will arrange it as 5xy. Plus y times 6y is 6y squared because we add the exponents 1 and 1. And then we will combine like terms, 36xy and 5xy. So the final answer is we have 30x squared. 36xy plus 5xy is 41. So we have 41xy. And our last term is 6y squared. So the answer for number 2 is 30x squared plus 41xy plus 6y squared. Question number 3. We will begin with distributing 8a times 3a. What do you think is 8a times 3a? The answer is 
24a to the second power because you add the exponents 1 and 1. Now we will multiply 8a times negative b and that is negative 8ab. Now let's distribute negative 7b. Negative 7 times 3 is negative 21 and we have the variables a and b. Next, we multiply negative 7b times negative 1b, and that is plus 7b to the second power. Now we will combine like terms negative 8ab and negative 21ab, which is of course negative 29ab. So the final answer is 24a squared minus 29ab plus 7b squared. This is the simplest form for question number three. Question number four. First step is to multiply 7k and 7k, and that is 49k to the second power. 7k times 8, we have 56k. Now we will distribute negative 8. Negative 8 times 7k is negative 56k. And lastly, we need to multiply negative 8 and positive 8, which is minus 64. Now, combining like terms, we have 56k and negative 56k. That means this will be 0k. So the final answer is 49k squared minus 64. Did you notice anything with the format for question number 4? The two binomials are sum and difference. And if it is a product of sum and difference, there is a shortcut. If you have this format, all you need to do is multiply the first terms, 7k and 7k, that's 49k squared. And then you multiply the last terms, negative 8 and positive 8 which is negative 64. If you multiply the outside terms, that's 56k, and the inside terms, negative 56k, that will be equal to 0. So if you have a product of sum and difference, you simply multiply the first terms, and then multiply the second terms. That's why the answer for this problem is 49k squared minus 64. Question number 5. 8x plus 3 to the second power. This problem number 5 is the same thing as 8x plus 3 times 8x plus 3. So by using distributive property, we multiply 8x times 8x, that's 64x squared. Next, we multiply 8x times 3, that's 24x. Then we will multiply 3 times 8x, that's also 24x. And 3 times 3, that gives us a 9. Notice that we have two 24x in this expression. So simplifying 24x and 24x, that's 48x. So the final answer is 64x squared plus 48x plus 9. So the answer for number 5 is 64x squared plus 48x plus 9. Without using distributive property, there is a shortcut for squaring a binomial. Step 1 is square the first term, that's 64x squared. Step 2, you multiply the first term 8x and the second term 3, that's 24x, and then double it, that gives you 48x. And finally, you square the second term, that is plus 9. Again, step 1 is square the first term. Step 2, multiply the first and second, and then double. And step 3, you square the second term, 3. So you will get the same answer as distributive property. Please check out the next video on the square of binomials. Thank you for watching and please consider subscribing to my channel at Celso Academy.